Ooh. Okay. Almost. That one. Oh, Kelly Dokely. Hello. This game is. Are we gonna get a title screen? There it is. Silver Chains. I need to be able to. I thought putting the feedback on was a good idea, but it's not. It's very distracting. I need to go into my advanced video property. Monitor off. Like, so don't hear myself in my earbuds. Okay, silver chains. Oof. Options. Some options here. Um. Seems to be a bit of a lag on the menu. We did brightness. Controls. Uh, I have to see how it feels before I change anything there. Sound, language, whatever. It seems to be in English. So silver chains. This is a uh, silver chains. There's my mic. Silver Chains. This is a uh, exploration horror game. Uh, I believe it came out... Uh, probably two years ago. Because I remember hearing about it on the Top Nintendo podcast. And I haven't listened to that podcast for... quite some time, because one of the hosts annoys the crap out of me. I'll leave it to you to guess which one. It's Perry. But that's uh, besides the point. Silver Chains is a horror game. I'm going to play it because it's Spooktober. Actually, for me, it's Spooktember. I'm re recording this in advance, as I always do. <laughs> oh, wake up on the side of the road, knocked out. That's always a good start. This is definitely not super generic. Definitely not. God, uh, I crashed into a tree. What an idiot. Who crashed into a tree? I mean, I crashed into a building, but who crashes into a tree? Um, Where am I? Oh, I have a zoom. I have a crouch. I'm so close. Maybe there's someone who can help me. I, I do appear to be able to run, but it is not significantly faster than the walk speed. Hey look! Somebody's home! What luck! And it's... Is this Big Boo's haunt? I feel like I've been here many, many times. As a particular plumber. Not this plumber, but one that looks much like him. Also, I put on this light. Not that my lighting isn't terrible, but now it's distracting me, so I'm just gonna click it down a little bit. There, that's better. Hi, I'm still visible. I'm playing in the dark. This is a spooky game, and you gotta play spooky games in the dark, or else you're doing it wrong. Oh, are we in Elysium? Just like uh, there's some whispery voices, but they're not. Ah. Ether, we need to leave. Get to the chopper. How did I get here? The last thing I remember is an accident in this house, but I passed out in the backyard. How did I get here? I should look around. Okay, yeah, so I've I've had this game on my wish list since it was released. Uh, at least on Switch. I don't know if it came out on PC like way before. Uh, I would venture to guess yes. But I have no idea. Um 
It's just it's like a $35 game. And for a uh, horror explorer map, that's a little bit much. Especially since it's not like super premium. It's looking like. Maybe it will be. A is doors. Okay. Uh, I don't want to go in there yet. There's blood. Oh, I don't want to go in here yet. There's hanging babies. <laughs> okay, we got everything right out the gate here. Perfect. Um, but it was on sale. Um, or it, 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 is, it is currently on sale as I record this. Um, by the, the time I upload it, or by the time it goes live. I... Note on the mirror, the key in the library. Hmm, what could be there? There. Oh, there is a note there. Um, by the time this video goes live, certainly this won't be on sale anymore, but... It went down to like, I don't know, 12 bucks, and... That is more than cheap enough for me, impulse buy. And really, it's not an impulse buy, because it's been on my wish list for what seems like forever. Oh no. Oh no, it's another hide em up I thought it was just an explore em up I don't want to deal with stalkers. Uh, Y to open inventory. That wasn't Y, that was X! I'm left completely alone. All of the maids resigned out of fear for their lives. I can't blame them. I would run away too if I could. But what's done is done. I cannot hide. I cannot sleep. I hear them laughing and talking all the time. This demonic giggling. It's driving me crazy. I know there's only one way to get rid of all this. This is my last entry. Goodbye. And I am just gonna shove myself down this away. So it's not... To cover up the text. Okay. Jesus Christ. What happened here? Oh, he's British. I didn't notice that before. I have scissors. When did I get scissors? I suppose it doesn't matter. And a locket. There's me and some woman whose face I cannot recognize. Can I inspect it? Uh, okay. I think you can cut the rope. What rope? Dude, you're way ahead of me here. Okay, hold on. I need to... Uh, is there a review? There it is. Okay, X. Okay, so he's home alone, which isn't that scary, because I'm home alone, like, it's literally all the time. It's um, so dark in here. Oh, okay, but we're not going forward without a, 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 a lantern, or perhaps a flashlight. I haven't discerned what era this is yet, but it, he's got cars, so they should have flashlights, I would think. Maybe like a steam-powered flashlight, but certainly still a flashlight. Let's... Why is... Who was in charge of the layout of this house, and why is there a little... I don't know. I don't know, I'm not an architect, I don't understand. How's this... Yeah, great. All the way, babies. I was, um... I was kind of expecting, uh, like a Layers of Fear kind of experience. But, uh, being able to hide in the closet doesn't fill me with hope. 
You know what happens when I have to hide from monsters? I get killed repeatedly, and then the game takes way longer than it should. Um, what rope do I want to cut? Or is there something I didn't find yet? Oops, not that one. This one. No. Inventory. Okay, so I guess the note on the mirror is my current objective? But I, I can't open this little box. I need a key. And this door doesn't appear to open. And this is too dark for me. Yeah, I know. Wah, wah, wah. It's too dark. I don't want to go in. I'm a baby. I'm just a little baby. Can I take this lamp? It's it's not plugged into anything. I should be able to take it with me, right? It's so dark in here. Yeah, we'll suck it up, bro. I can't believe I'm already stuck. <laughs> like, why doesn't this door open? It's not even saying it's locked or anything. Uh, clock. And interact with. I can't flush this toilet. Like, okay, here's my question. When did this, like, pull rope style flutter go out of style? Or do some places still use that? Is that like in countries that aren't North America? I, I don't know. I assumed it was an old timey thing. But now we've got an old timey flusher and a car. The same game. And seems a little um, anachronistic to me. I think that's the right word. Surely I've missed something. Is there... Oh, look at that. Uh, it's like a cross between a lantern and a flashlight. It's a lantern with a directed stream of light. Can I open this chest? No. I do know that I can crouch, and yet I have to press a button to go through here anyway. Strange. I'm not sure that I like it. Um. So I, I did come into this mostly blind. Um. I don't know really anything about the plot or the gameplay or anything. It did. S oh, is anybody here? The house seems abandoned, but the lights are on. Maybe someone is here. Um, before I purchased it, I did skim a review just to make sure it wasn't a terrible purchase. Um, and it seemed kind of like. The main complaint is that it's a little bit too generic and the world isn't interactable enough. Which are things that I can live with. Like, um, I'm here for, like, the roller coaster ride, you know? Hit me with a spooky mansion that I have to walk around in for a while. And... Huh? What was that? 
couple jump scares here and there, and I'll be happy. What was that? I'm pretty sure I saw ghosts here. I need to get out of here. Way out is on the first floor. A, a door opened. What leads you to believe it was a ghost? You just... Like, your, your previous inner monologue suggested that you think a person is around, so why would you jump to ghosts? Can I open this one? Oh, no, it's good. A big old silver chain on it. <gasps> the name of the game. Uh-oh. Don't do that. Probably get eaten if you put down the lantern for too long. Eaten by a guru. No way to go. Wow. That was a dramatic door close. Ooh. Sweet, I got a fire poker. Oh. Oh, I thought it was dripping blood, but there's just a handprint under it. Under where it once were. Okay. Turn on some music. That'll make things a little more lively. Guess not. September 5, 19... Oh, 1900. Uh, that's not... That, this is when that, that... That's when this was written. Not necessarily when I'm reading it. But... My maids heard me screaming and called Dr. Morgan after the incident without my knowledge. Maybe they did the right thing, but I'm sure that I heard the terrifying voice. I tried to explain it to Dr but he was convinced that it was a side effect of my medication. He said it may have caused hallucinations because I misused it. So I was prescribed a new medication, and Dr. Morgan asked our new man nanny to make sure that I take it correctly. Maybe it was hallucinations after all. Maybe it were. Maybe you need to accept that you have a problem. Wrote this diary was troubled with hallucinations. Oh well, yeah, maybe you are too now. Maybe you're the person who wrote the diary. <gasps> did I solve it? Did I did I solve the game? This uh, uh, it's a little amnesia. And not that the man has amnesia specifically, but that it's a little bit like the video game amnesia. Which uh, I've only played like the first 10 minutes of, so that's pretty much all I know about it. Let's play. Oh, that's what this is. This is a let's play. It knows what I'm doing. Awesome. Oh, yeah. I'll put the music on. Guess not. Hmm. Something gonna jump out at me when I grab. Oh! <laughs> Using the right stick, Ryan, not the left stick. You're old enough to know rights and lefts. Can I read it upside down? Yeah. Important. Don't forget to lock the back stairs door and leave the key in the utility room. Yes, children are not allowed to play in the kitchen. There. There. And... Wait. Oh, it's just the shadow. I'm not wonky. Yeah, I, I read this. Why didn't it just go into my notebook? Okay. Who turned... The phonograph on again. Or gramophone, or... Hmm. 
Not 100% sure what that machine is called. I don't know if those two words are interchangeable or if they refer to different machines. No? No? Okay. Uh, back to where I was originally investigating. I think I tried both of these doors, but... Or perhaps all... Uh, this one's just a, a jar. Like there's a... Something in there. And that needs a key. And I haven't really been absorbing enough of the story because I'm trying to talk. Um, instructions don't really absorb well when you are trying to talk while playing something. Did uh, anything else happen in this room? Like a secret door opened, maybe? Okay, so these don't open. This one really just leads back to the bathroom, so I don't need to go that way. What do I have in my inventory? Oh, I used the keys to cut down the lantern. I, not the key, the scissors. The keys? Keys, Ryan! Okay. Uh, for raking coal in the fireplace. Is that a thing I can do? Is there an item in here? And there's no coal in the fireplace, for one. So, I'm thinking no. <laughs> there's a chain around the door. Ooh, I haven't tried this door, have I? It's just not real. No prompt. I can't go this way. This was a fake door. This is a bathroom. Nothing spooky in that tub. Uh, this is all the babies. Can't go in here. Whee! Go! Physics! Look at those physics work. Wow, we. All right, back to the grind. Still nothing there. I probably backtracked for no reason. Hiding closet, though. I'll probably have to come back this way at some point. Can't fall down onto the debris here. Still nothing in this room. There should be something in here. Kind of points me in the right direction. Uh, let's read this again. Lock the back stairs door and leave the key in the utility room. So, presumably I have to find this utility room. 
But where do it be? That's a luggage, that's an end table, that's a stool. A luggage could contain the key that I search for. I think I'm, it won't. They can't quite reach it. Did I knock the chair? Or has it always been creaking? Yo, Dode, let me in. Oh, a new letter. Come in. Are you kidding me? Oh, thank you. What kind of key did we get? Ah, what kind of key did we get? Nondescript. Yeah, had a feeling. Oh, we're pushing. I had assumed the prompt would be to open the chest and look at the valuable items within. I was wrong. Oh, see, so now I can see through the face glory hole. Nothing there. Some strange lighting on the back of the toilet. Don't know where it's coming from. Doesn't matter. Hop on through to the other side. Oh, oh, my fire poker is doing something. Oh, oh, I'm the little bubble. Okay. I thought it was representing where I was moving the control stick. That's kind of a neat little feature. I like that. Forget to turn on the lamp. It's always not to be eaten by a Gru. Um, so the exit's on the first floor. I'm going to assume that uh, I won't be allowed to go there quite yet. So we'll uh, we'll head upstairs first. Check out the situation here, uh, which is not much of anything, surprisingly. Hello, anyone down there? Man, all the photos in this house are super blurry. I guess they just invented the camera. So yeah, they couldn't take good pictures yet. It was just a miracle that they could imprint an image onto a piece of fabric or paper or whatever the first... <laughs> photographs were printed on. Man, I need a high-powered lantern. This isn't uh, lighting things up enough for me. I still feel like I can barely see where I'm going. Spice rack. We knocked over all the teapots. Or the one teapot and other pots. Oh, here's a new... Oh, there's two teapots. One's just where it's supposed to be. August 21st, 1900. My beloved Harold died yesterday. That's the whole note. What a file, folks. What it a like file. This woman starts to have problems after her husband's death. Oh. Oh. Were all these notes being written by a woman? I, you know, being a male-centric male, I just 
had assumed that they were being written by a fellow. They were not marked by any sort of name, so, you know, didn't assume is the lesson we're learning here. Didn't assume. Here's a real fire. I'm sure I've lost my fire poker, though, after... Yeah, using it for that one very specific e-retrieval mission. It might have been the only fire poker in the house. Hey, look, this, this painting's not bad. Maybe because it's a painting and not a photograph. Just gotta check this door first. Ooh, voices. What, uh, what does this way look like? I'm gonna go this way instead. Mommy? What? The warning. I met someone in the dining room. It was a little girl, or at least looked like her. She somehow knows my name and warned me about the mother. This house is full of ghosts, and... I have to get out of here. Was, was there a little girl here? What did I do to the mother? Oh. Oh. Uh. Gonna finish exploring this room first. Gonna check that perimeter. too exciting. And there's a different po uh, uh, painting than the one that was above the other fireplace. So, good job, game developer. Now copy and pasting is so easy. So it's appreciated when you Don't just copy paste. Uh, what is the thing I wanted to say? Can you uh, ignore the temptation to do so? Yeah, that'll do. August 17, 1900. Dear Diary, day before yesterday, my Harold came back after a long journey. I missed him so much, and our children couldn't be happier. Finally, the whole family was back together. Yesterday, we spent all day together, and he told us stories of his adventure. He brought us so many presents. Our children were very excited about all the toys and dolls that he brought. Harold is feeling unwell after a long ride home. I think he's just tired. I'll go draw him a nice hot bath. Oh. What a nice wife. For such a short time. Are you really playing Moonlight Sonata? Are you really playing Moonlight Sonata? <laughs> Perfect. Those finger animations. <laughs> Dude, that's amazing. That is, a, that is a callback to Resident Evil, if you were not aware. Whereupon, somebody plays Moonlight Sonata on a piano, which opens a secret door. Man. I was expecting a dead end by now. Hello?
This is a fairly well lit room. All things considered. Oh, more chains. And we got a staircase. And nothing. So. Uh oh. Oh well, I guess I'm not going back to investigate the other hallway. And uh, press forward. Oh. Oh. Yes, hide. Hide in the closet. You about done? Okay, danger. A tall, terrifying woman chased me. No doubt that she wanted to kill me. Apparently it was the mother a little girl warned me about. I have to be more careful and sneaky to get out if you're alive. <sighs> I don't want to be sneaky. I just want to be directed around a haunted house. Please? Oh, look. Oh! I know this place. I've been here. Like, I'd be happier being sneaky if I could see anything. But I suppose it's the vulnerability that makes this exciting. I remember this lamp. It contains a secret. Oh. Okay. So yeah, I'm like the father or something. Or maybe one of the children? I don't know. I think it works as a lever. Now, Harold was the father. So I can't be the father if I'm Peter. Um, maybe I'm the lover? Hold on. Taking a drink with my right hand. I can't move the right stick with my left hand. Are you crazy? Let's go jerk in the box. I can't say I totally understand what I'm trying to accomplish here. I don't know if you can hear it at all, but the controller vibrator... vibration? Not vibrator. Is, uh, freaking out. Every once in a while. doesn't open the little door thingy. I've seen a broken sky- oh! But I can't get back there. Maybe I need to do something else. Maybe this isn't where I'm supposed to be quite yet. Another bathroom? Baker. 
Nothing in this toilet. Oh, it sounds like there's something behind the closet. Need to look closer. When that message came up, I was like, oh no, is there something in the closet? <laughs> Am I getting tricked? Is it debating me? But, uh, no. It's just a secret passage. That's fine. Hey. Okay. It's nice that there's a lot of warning before she shows up. I appreciate that. I need to turn the volume up a little bit more for me. A little bit... A little bit too quiet. Uh, be fully confident that she's about to show up. Or that she's gone, I should say. The whispering when she's about to show up is super helpful. And I very much like that feature. Just reach for it, dude. Okay. Souls of the dead will never fulfill your request just like that. They like to make riddles and come to you only after you solve their riddles or fulfill their request. Usually these puzzles are connected with the, their lives somehow. In order to solve them, I had to rummage through their past and learn all sorts of details of their lives. Thanks to the diaries, it was not difficult. But with children, it's not so simple. Basically, they want to play. But games are unusual. Games are not unusual. Sometimes the dead build barriers in the present through which a human can't pass. They open them only if you fulfill their conditions. But we must remember that they see the world quite differently. Okay, so this is the excuse for nonsense puzzles. Gotcha. Uh, can I put this down? Yeah, thank you. What? Er. Seems someone wants me to find all pieces of this photo. Okay. Typical. Are they all in this room? That would make things quite a lot easier. The note. No. Animals in the children's room. That's terrible. I wanted to read it. How will I know which one it is? Probably the last one. Oh come on! Could they not make a page flipping animation? Uh, I read that one. Okay, September 14, 1900. Dear Diary, I don't understand what was happening in the house. I don't trust anyone. Last night I woke up and went to check on the kids. When I entered the room, I noticed a smell. The same smell that always accompanied Harold when he returned from a hunt. I looked under the bed and found the decapitated remains of animals. There was so much blood and it was mixed with dirt and bits of fur. And that stench. And it was all under the beds of my children. I took the kids to my room and ordered the servants to clean the mess. Who could have done something like that? Seems to me that someone is trying to drive me crazy on purpose to take away the only thing I have left. My children. Okay, so... Peter? Mayhaps?
Here's that last little photo. Here it is. It looked like it was cut in quarters. Bingo! Uh oh! A family portrait. It was I was on that photo. Does it mean that they're my family? Timmy and Ellie are my brother and sister, and then there's my mother. But who's the woman with a noose appeared around her neck? Something might have happened here. I can't remember anything. Okay, yeah, so... As suspected, I am one of the brothers. Or one of the children of the angry mother. I don't know if there's other footsteps to be worried about, but I'm gonna hide in here for a moment just in case. The controls in this closet are weird because you move in the opposite direction that you push the stick and you can't look up or down i gotta say i don't much care for it oh i'm here this isn't where i want to go is it is it uh no i want to go this way I need to find the place where I found the fire poker. Which I believe is at the end of this hall. Also, how do I save? Secret door! Sweet! The lamp's secret. Rotate the lamp five times clockwise, three counterclockwise, six times clockwise. Uh. Somebody is somewhere. Having a bad time. Oh, getting closer. Not yet, I guess. I would have thought for sure he was in that cabinet. Okay. Five, three, six. Five, three, six. Okay. August 27, 1900. A week has passed since Harold left us. He changed after the trip. I couldn't recognize him. Like a naive idiot, I thought that he was just tired. How could I have not noticed? I could have helped him. Every day the guilt is tearing me apart, and I can't stop thinking about it. I want to be with my Herald, but for the sake of our children, I'm still alive in this damned world. My maids are worried about me. They called the doctor who prescribed some medication for me. He says it should help me cope with the grief, but I seriously doubt that. I lost the love of my life. He was right about one thing. I'd locked myself away from everyone. From my children, too. He recommended a friend of his, a nanny, who could look after the children. They need someone, and I need rest in bed. Don't leave me alone, Reddit. But Old woman. Phone. Phone. This is where Reddit is bothering me. Oh. 536? 536. Oh no, keep that on, please. Uh, I've kind of lost my bearings now. Oh, here is... Oh. Uh, 
It's okay. <gasps> A hiding closet. Am I gonna hide now? Oh, right stick. Booyah! Second floor corridor. Is that... Am I on second floor? Like I said, I've lost my bearings. Not too sure. But... Probably? Does it go right here? Does. What luck. This is a big room. Need a hidey holes for stuffs. Monsty. Once again, I have the option of both up and down. And a door. Holy. <laughs> that kind of got me. Not going to lie. No, oh, what's this? Use the monocle. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. What? Okay, so find the thing. Four steps forward, two steps right, and then it's on my left. Treasure? Treasure? Well, this is weird. It's turning. That's not right. Yeah, I can't say I totally get it. Like, why didn't I find anything? Okay. Not like I can hop on the bed or anything. Nothing I can interact with in this wall. Um, what? I don't get it. Hold on. Okay, so he has a left leg and a right arm. This, maybe it's the wrong... No, it's the right person. Or figure, anyway.
Turn left. I mean right. I know my lefts and rights. I'm a grown up. But I'm not seeing anything. What? Did I miss? I, maybe I'm just not supposed to go in this room yet. Maybe I'm not equipped. Stuck in this room. Perfect. Until I solve the puzzle. And you can see that the wall looks a bit different. Like, this crappy texture is a little bit different than this crappy texture. There's clearly a door. I'm not sure... I'm supposed to make it visible? He hints hidden from the eye with this monocle. Yeah, not really, though. And the hint is a little bit inconsistent, don't you think? This is a little bit frustrating. I won't lie. What do you want from me, game? Just, I don't get it. I, I, I followed the map. Sort of. Kind of. I think. I feel like I followed the map. Yeah, look at you. You're a little doll man. It's in arms and legs. Oh, you have to do when the thing is... Are you kidding me? Did I not do that? I could swear I tried. I don't know. Hello. Slappy. I saw a prompt, but I guess I'm crazy. Now I am the one hallucinating. Peter, help us. Who are you? Let me out of here. I'm your father. I can help you out. Just help us. That is not what happened. Father, I don't believe you. You are here because of us. You have to remove this spell, which is devouring us. Twelve years ago, we saved you at the cost of our lives, but we are here and forever stuck. We can't get out of here. You're the only one who can set us free. How about Where that? My soul is in this puppet. It is necessary to find all the parts of this puppet and remove the spell. How can I find them? The map. Ouija board. A spirit contacted me through the Ouija board and claimed to be my father. I don't understand. I don't remember my father and my family at all. Did I really live here and did they save me from the curse? Can I trust them? I don't have a choice anyway. I think I have to help them. Maybe. Anything, uh... Glow in the dark in that room. Doesn't look like it. I'm allowed to leave again. Oh! First piece of doll. The map has changed. I think I need to use the monocle to see the starting point to the doll's piece. Okay. So what do we got here? We got diamond, square, square, diamond. Oh, look at that. So, find the leg sigil, uh, go six steps forward, two steps to the right, 
And then a diamond with what looks like it might be a flirt lease on it. There's the leg sigil. But seems like it's either I, I it looks like it's below me. <laughs> Get it? Below me. Uh is that a statue head? Head looks like a lever. In what world? Oh, it's some spooky, scary, glowy stuff. Oh. Oh. Is this the front door? I guess I'm not leaving. X marks the spot. I'm a little bit concerned. I haven't seen a hiding cabinet for a while. I don't know where to go if uh creepy lady shows up. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I got me good. I got me good. Oh. Oh, I gotta calm the nerves with a little bit of whiskey. <laughs> nice. Good job, game. Just don't pull that too many times. Oh, here's my hiding spot. Okay, good. Now I know. This isn't the same... No. Got a lot of the... same shape as that, uh... Ghoulie type room. Oh, it was diamond, square, square, diamond. I don't have the last piece, though. I take this note. Damn. Super. September 9th. Oh, that's my birthday. 1900. Oh, that's... 86 years before I was born. Uh, the day has switched places with the night because of my new medication. Sleep all the time, and only at night do I have enough strength to get out of bed. Last night I heard little wooden-sounding steps and giggles. Laughter left this house long ago. I wondered if it was the children fooling around and went to check on them. But they were sleeping soundly in their beds. In the second floor corridor, I met Nanny Tamson. She looked at me as if she'd seen a ghost, and dragged me into the next room. Then she gave me my medication and told me I was not allowed to leave the room. I angrily knocked those damn pills out of her hands. Why the hell do I need to spend all day in that room? And I not even see my children? I spend so little time with them. They need mother, not that nanny Tamsin. What was she doing up so late? She's beginning to worry me. This woman must be my mother, but I don't remember anything from my childhood. The Tamsin's the real mother. All right, so I need to solve this monocle puzzle. I 
And it's pointing me this way, but this way doesn't really work, does it? I'm going to do take another look at that map See if I can't make heads or tails of it oh so that's pointing dead ahead to the X but that's not right oh oh and the flares are pointing different ways okay so up up left, up right, and down. Yeah, I don't know, is this a lie? Like, what? I don't quite get it. There's another thing off in the distance there. I'm assuming that's going to be the arm, but maybe not. Maybe I need to go find that. doorway. Oh, there's a little schoolie room. Okay. Creak. And then something creaked in my house. Oh, bad timing game. And what is that? It looks like another leg. Maybe that's, uh, Piece of the portrait that I need to find. Well, this is a combination lock that I can't even see. Never mind solve. Oh, look at that. The wall isn't quite connected to the floor here. Oops. Maybe it's just stinking in. Maybe it's supposed to be that way. I feel like it's not. Somebody gonna pop in that little hole there? Is this a room I have been to? 
that a shortcut? Can't be. Can it? Where's my... Oh! Goodness! It was here the whole time. Oh, yeah, well, maybe the floor is falling away, because look, there's... Like, the boards, and then there's the underneath stuff. Alright. Interesting. I'm pretty sure I tried opening that already. Uh-oh. Bye bye. Don't come back now. Okay. I've got my puzzle piece. That's header. Stairs. But, oh yeah, look at this. This is floor is also given way here. Weird. It looks weird. I get what they were going for, but it doesn't quite work. Just keep running, please, dude. Alright. You're going up. Uh, I can't quite tell which way this is facing. Everything's a little bit too blurry. <gasps> oh, save. Nice. Now I can get attacked without worry. Is he just standing there? Oh, that was a different ghost, I guess. I'm gonna go return the leg. Although I, I don't 100% trust this puppet. Oh, I can I not turn it in yet? Few parts are left. What? Are you missing both legs? No, just one. What are you talking about, dude? What are you missing? Your wiener? Well, there's a new hint, though. Second piece of doll. The map has changed again. I need to find the second piece. Oh, the jaw. Huh. Well, that's not especially helpful. How oh, is it? Um, look like it might be upstairs. It's nice that you can see the sigils through the walls, at least. Or it must be. He's scooting around. I... Is he pulling the wool over my eyes? I'm just like... Setting me up to find pieces to a fake dummy while he scoots around and does his thing. Oh man. It's a bookcase maze. 
Get the kitchen. Children should not be allowed in this library. Ooh, is this a readable note? No. What? What did I miss? My controller went crazy. I didn't see anything happen. Feel a little bit left out. I will eventually get to the end of the phase. Someday. Maybe not today. Someday. So looking at the floor and seeing where I go a little more clearly. And this looks like it might be a destination. This candle lit itself. That's got to be good, right? Wait, I've already... Haven't I been through? No, I guess not. Huh? Oh! Should I... Should I be worried? Is it collapsing around me? Like, what? what? What's happening? Another blood candle. I gotta get jump scared if I take too long? Like what what what? Oh The maze in the doll's jaw. I thought I was stuck in the maze. How could hold on. How could such a big maze locate in the house? That's not how England works. Who could have hidden these pieces? Whoever it was, the person didn't want it to be found. There's still one piece missing. I still don't know what to use that head lever for. Oh. oh. Where am I now? And where's the closest hiding spot? Okay. Closest hiding spot is in here. I think. Oh, that's, yeah, the... Oh. Combination lock key, or combination lock behind me. But was this cabinet always there? Probably. Keep running until I let go of the stick, please. Well, I'll be dipped. Now that the door with the red symbol is open, there you will find the truth. Or something like that. I'm gonna glide. <laughs> uh, what? What is the door with the red symbol? I don't think I found that yet. Door with the red symbol. I saw a door like that on the second floor left wing. Father told me that I'll have to discover the truth there. I don't know what to expect. Whose room was that anyway? Okay, so we've got like a symbol with ears in the middle. Uh, I guess that's the arm in that sigil. And one o'clock?
I definitely did not see this red symbol before. Hello, Dolly. This is a hiding cabinet. Okay. Uh oh, saving. Oh, look at that. It's kind of scratched off. I wonder if that just happened. We're going in here. No, I don't think I've been in this room. Let me just do a quick scan, make sure there's nothing important. Wouldn't want to miss a key item. Or, uh, this is not a hiding closet. It's a regular closet. Okay, so there's the arm sigil. What doth it mean? Oh, a file. Missing here. How to put a soul into the doll. And yet none of that can actually be read. There's a little bit more text there than just the one sentence. Pretty slick, don't you? Uh, inspect. I will not give it to you. <laughs> I lost a doll's piece. As soon as I found the last piece, a little boy stole it from me. I think it was Timmy. I have to catch him. And we have to look through the rest of the room first. September 15, 1900. Yesterday evening the children had a fever and were shivering. I immediately ran to Tamsin's room to grab a first aid kit. When I entered the room I was met with a terrible scene. She was sitting in the middle of the room with that horrible doll in front of her. There was a circle with some symbols and the animal corpses were everywhere. Timzin was sitting in the middle of all this horror and muttering something. It all became clear to me. She's a witch! After that, I blacked out. I only remember that I fought her. Next thing I remember is that I dragged her to the furthest room and locked her there. Once I did that, the kids started to feel better. I decided to hide the doll in the chest so no one could ever find it. I don't really know what she was trying to do with this doll. Now I took my medication to calm my nerves. I'll have to deal with the witch in the morning. Um... It's all that woman's fault. She took my entire family away. Dude, you don't even believe that it's your family yet. Or maybe he's come around, I don't know. But, um... Maybe the stalker... monster isn't... actually the mother? Maybe it's this... Hamson? Jamie! Jamie? Timmy? Where'd the doll go? Oh, that that's just a save hallway. Okay. Where did Timmy go? I didn't see you. Little scamp. The heck is that? Looks like a lamp. Uh, it is a lamp. The only normal thing visible through the monocle. And the rest is pitch black. Super.
Oh, well, I have no idea where Timmy has gotten off to. I don't believe I went... Oh, there he is. Catch me up. What is... No. Just, like, try to catch me. Or catch up to me. Catch me up. Timmy? That looks like a pick upable nose. But it's not. Looks like a hiding closet. Oh, I see Timmy's legs. I'll find you just as soon as I confirm that there are no notes in this room. Timmy! I chased Timmy until he locked himself in the attic. I can't get to the last piece, so I guess I should tell the doll about it. You, you don't have to, like, justify yourself to a doll. Especially if it says you're, it's your dad, because it's probably not your dad. Haunted dolls are never the person they say they are. I've watched enough Child's Play movies to know this. I'm sorry, Papa. I failed you. Papa? They will do anything to stop you. We must remove the spell quickly. Otherwise, you can stay here forever, like I do. You don't make it sound like a threat there, buddy. They are your family. Because of the spell devours us all this time, we have changed and sometimes we are not who we are. And I got a key. I would like to have a... Keep of my beverage. Okay. What kind of key do I have? Key to the library. Um... Where is the library? Oh, I didn't... I didn't have to use this block at all, did I? Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna start upstairs. Um... In the Timmy hallway. And hope that I just randomly stumble upon the library. Been in there. Been in there. Been in there. Been in there. Where have I not been? I guess it's not on this. Lore, maybe? Cause I, I called this bookcase maze a library before, but I guess it's not. It's just a bookcase maze. Totally different. Locked. Uh... Stairs? Have I taken these stairs? I guess so, because there's an open door.
Uh oh. That actually scared me more than most of the jump scares have. Um. Oh, this is the original hallway. Okay. I, I kind of feel like I sort of know where I am again. Kinda, sorta. So, if I were a library, I would be on the main floor. And straight ahead from the entrance? No? Okay. I haven't been that way yet. It might be that way. I think there are any locked doors down this away. An overturned basket of wood. All these doors are boarded up. Not helpful. A weirdly textured vase. Like half of it didn't get a texture. Read anything here? No? Something's buzzing. I think it's on the other side of this wall. Okay, so there's no doors down there. Uh, I think I tried all the upstairs doors. So that leaves here. Whereabouts haven't I been? Maybe here? I do remember there was another door with a chained padlock on it. I just don't remember where it is. And maybe I've already opened it and forgotten. This... Oh, I thought this went to the stairs. I was wrong. Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel! Come on, whoever that was. And they're like, Silver Chains? Come on, Ryan. Why a real video game? The game you're playing doesn't even have a combat system, much less collectible cards. I don't think anybody would actually think that. Um, maybe they would, but uh, seems unreasonable. Darn it! Oh, that's why. Oh, hiding spot. Well, there's the piano. I've been here for sure. Oh! Was that a shortcut? Saving. Is this the save hallway? Or should I be concerned? Oh, here it is, the padlock! Yes!
find the picture of the sun. Find the sun, find the sun, find the sun in the library. Remember at like the very beginning of the game and there was a thing on the mirror that said something about a library? I don't remember what that said. Yeah, I'm starting to think that the books, you know, these bookcases are uh, identical. And here I was saying, good job, developer, for not copy-pasting. This is not a sun. This is a magic-ass flower. That's a little disturbing. What did I get? It wasn't a note. Don't don't press the notes button, Ryan. A wind-up key. Key to the music box. Oh, the music box from the very beginning. I shouldn't have done that. Aconite. Aconite herbarium, also called the witch flower. Probably should have left that alone. Oops. Okay, so... How... Do I get back to the... Starting area. This is the a piano room. So it's pretty close to here. I think. Locked. I think this is the way I wanted to go, actually. There are other ways. Uh, maybe? Oh, no, maybe this is the way I want it to go. Uh, stairs. Stairs. Um, broken stairs. Oh, dude. Yeah, wow, I totally missed that. All right. That's cool. We can just go the long way. There's there's some more stairs here over here. I just need to find my way back to the main hall. Which uh, hopefully is through here some way. Oh, my heart is a racing. It's been too long since we last had an encounter with the uh, creepy lady. She's she's just raring to pop out somewhere. There's another save. Oh, that wasn't an actual creepy lady. It's a ghost. Just a ghost. And just for the record, here is my safe space. Right next to me. 
Because I feel like this has got to trigger her. It's a QTE. I'm slow, but I got it. What did I say? What did I say? Music box was going to trigger the spooky lady. Did I done get got? Or was that scripted? Oh, I've got the thing. Oh, I'm back in Elysium. Just washed out Elysium. And with... More trees, I suppose. Lyra? Lyra, are you here? September 17th, 1990. Or, 1990. Come on, man. 1900. It's all over. After yesterday's devilry, I woke up from a nightmare. I went to check on the kids, but I wish I'd never woken up. Amson was standing in their room muttering something, and my beloved children were lying at her feet, lifeless, covered in blood. That witch heard me enter the room, and she threw herself at me and started screaming that it was all my fault. The maids ran to us, hearing the shouts, and dragged Tamsin off of me. Her face was contorted with fury and hatred. Towards me! She wouldn't stop saying that I killed my own children. He is totally insane. I looked at my children, and then the rage overwhelmed me. She killed my kids. I'll kill her. We hung her in the backyard. Oh. Oh. I want her to feel my suffering so that she knows the pain of a mother who lost her children. But one of my maids betrayed me and helped her offspring run away. Harold, Ellie, Tommy. I don't know how to cope with this pain. So... Tamsin had children as well? Huh. Helped her offspring run away. So, I, I don't know, if you hanged her, what point would killing her kids serve? I mean, at that point, you're just being mean. They didn't do anything. And if she's already dead, you're not torturing her. I don't know. Never. Angry people are irrational. I remember that's my mother's name. Oh. She couldn't do it. I, I don't want to believe it. Oh, yeah. I gotta move myself up again. Very inconsiderate of you, game, to keep putting text <gasps> under my photo or video feed or whatever. Oh. My beloved son Peter, I don't have much time. Apparently, I will not be able to see how you are growing up. Forgive me for that. I tried my best. I tried for the other people. But it turned out that my only son will be left without a mother. Okay. Oh, just the one kid. Uh, I told Meredith to take you away from this damned place. I hope that the curse of this puppet has not affected you. Everything happens so quickly. That bustle. I hope Meredith managed to take my pendant and give it to you. It must protect you from the curse. There's not much time left. I hope fate will save you from all misfortunes. 
infinitely love your mother. Hmm. All right. Well, wrongly accused, perhaps. Mother, why? Don't jump scare me, mother. <laughs> I don't like it. Mammy, you're supposed to protect me, not scare me. <laughs> Chance listening to a yawn. Oh. Oh. I've been playing for a long time. My mother tried to protect this family, not harm it. But who killed Ellie and Timmy? We don't know. Perhaps it was the third child whose name I can't remember. Yeah. Strange vision. What was that? Vision? Or did I saw the past? Suddenly I got in a weird place with a massive tree. It was so calm and peaceful until I found the diary. Everything started to burn and a woman appeared behind me. She was hanged. Behold a note in her hand that was addressed to me. And suddenly I remembered. She's my mother. Her name was Tamsin. Oh God, what did she do? Why did they take her from me? I only wanted to help. Alright, so I got a ring. Ancient emerald ring. Somehow I can feel a strange power. Child brooch. I remember how Ellie cherished this brooch very much. Okay, but... Uh, you know, I'm getting tired. It's been almost two hours. So I think it's time to take a little recording break. And, um... Resume! I'm back. Next day, next morning, for uh, the thrilling conclusion of Silver Chains. Um, let me just refresh myself on what happened. Okay, I got the brooch and the ring. And uh, we got the... Um, Burning tree hallucination. Oh, look, a note. Dear Diary, either I'm going crazy or I do not even know how to explain this. I woke up at night because I heard a voice whispering in my ear. When I opened my eyes, I saw a doll without a face sitting on the chair. I was so afraid. I didn't understand how it got there. Who brought it? I came closer to the doll, but the damned thing ran away. The doll just stood up and ran. I grabbed an axe from the fireplace and pursued it. The doll ran to the children's room and tried to hide, but I started beating it frantically. Then I heard someone yelp. The doll was standing behind me. She just looked and laughed at me. Oh, so it's a lady doll? Huh. I assumed it was the slappy doll that we had been working for. Whatever. Uh, I quickly caught it and began beating it without stopping so it wouldn't run away again. What was that? What the devil is that creature? Where did Harold get this doll? This can't have been another hallucination or side effects of the drugs. I'm sure it all happened in real life. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it all happened too there, lady. Another note. My daughter has been acting strange lately and constantly running away to her room. She only plays with that doll her father gave her. After that conversation, I went to Ellie's room to check on her. Through the door, I heard her talking to someone. I was frightened because a creepy voice answered her. I opened the door and saw Ellie sitting at her tea table with the doll. I swear it looked like... I swear it looked at me with malice. I took her away and started asking who she was talking to. But no matter how many questions I asked, no matter how loudly I screamed at her, she kept quiet, not saying a word, without any emotion. I was hysterical. Ugh, I wish my Herald was here. I don't know what the flash lamp. Please. Not the... Well, actually, the monocle might... Point me in a direction that I should be going. Maybe not. Thanks for nothing, monocle. Alright, so it looks like there's only one way out of this room, and that's locked. Is 
Presumably, I'll have to find something else. Perhaps this. Got some angry baby doll action. Loading screen, of course. Oh! Kimmy? Oh. Am I having a the mom flashback? Great, right, chase and murder this doll. Got him. So I'm guessing the mom went crazy and killed her kids. Is that what they're trying to get across here? Back here, you. Little scamp. Saw what you did. Oh God! What did I do? How did that happen? How did what happen? I can't see anything. It's so dark. I'm very distracted by my face being there. Uh. <laughs> Since I only have one monitor, I can't have like my recording showing what's happening. Um, I that noise. Different God, screen. This doll controlled her eyes and played a cruel game with her. I need to finish the ritual. Finish what my mother started. Maybe you'll find drawings of the curse. No. What's wrong with you, Peter? Don't you want to help your father? I can do it by myself. I can get into the rooms where these drawings are. Only together we can stop them. Did you find drawings of the curse? No? What's wrong with you, Peter? Don't you want to help your father? I can do it by myself. I can get into the rooms where these drawings are. Only together we can stop them. Did you find drawings of the curse? No? Just repeating himself, okay. Don't you want to help your father? Gosh. I can do it. Getting knocked out a lot here. Sacral circle. I had no idea this doll can walk. It hit me in the head when I passed out again. I woke up here. Is it an attic? What's with the sacral drawings? I hope there weren't any rituals while I was out. Okay, so as I was saying, like, I only have one monitor, so if I'm playing a PC game, I have to have the game full screen to see everything, so I can't see my picture, but I'm playing on Switch. I can just full screen the OBS output so I can see my face, so i kind of not used to being able to see my face, because I've had a little bit more time playing PC games than console games. I've got this webcam. Um, I have no idea which way I want to go. Is there a, a glyph I should be heading toward? Doesn't seem like it. Hello. You just yeah, gonna vanish? Kinda of what I thought. You betrayed 
betrayed us. Did I? I didn't betray you. I was deceived. But I will rectify everything. Your rectify. He removed the spell that the left hand and cast, and now he will take all our souls. Now he can't be stopped. My mother died because of this, and I will try to stop this evil. This is your favorite toy. You left it here. You need it for protection. And I found this paper and the things of your mother. It's very important. Oh, goodbye. Did I get the toy? I, I did. to make it right. Oh, I talked to Ellie. I made a terrible mistake and messed everything up, but I want to make it right. The fence that's been keeping the demon inside the doll was removed with my blood. My mother managed to create this fence at the last moment until she was spotted and accused in killing Ellie and Timmy, but I can make it right. Ellie's spirit gave me the banishment ritual instruction. Is that five amulets having the tight bonds with the family and five herbariums of aconite are required. Its power can detain and destroy the evil spirit. Okay. I have no amulets. Or unless these different pieces of jewelry are in the amulet. And one aconite. I can't actually read that, really. Oh, here it goes. How to remove the curse. Amulets, only one chance. That's not quite it. There was some more text there. Aconite? Are you here? Are you here? Are you here? Uh oh. One of those creepy old ceiling books. Oh, an aconite. We find other aconites. Look through the eyepiece. Monocle will show the path. Ellie said that she will help me find the rest of the aconites. I have to search the house using the monocle from time to time. I don't really care for the monocle. Oh, is that it? Well, I guess I'll keep heading down this direction. It's actually pretty well lit. Uh, comparison to the rest of the game so far. But there's like a sigil here. Does it really do nothing? Well, I feel like I should check out the rest of this attic before I head downstairs. There were like three other paths to go down. Okay, so from the sigils I went right. Oh, interactable. According to the ritual, there must be amulets. Okay, so yeah, those things that I had were, in fact, things that I needed. Not sure what I'm doing. Oh, using the aconites. Nothing here, right? This is a whole bunch of dead end. Oh, I guess that one's below me.
It may just be that there's nothing else worth finding up here. I can't believe that. There's so many places to go. <laughs> There's nothing to find up here. There's nothing to find. Why build it out so much? Oh. Uh. This is, yeah, this is the right way. <laughs> All right, well, that was a lot of unnecessary backtracking, but worth it to know that I didn't miss anything. Gonna get jump scared soon. Oh, really? Hmm. Uh, kind of need to go in there, though. Ellie, you gonna give me a hand? Doesn't seem like anything else is showing up at all. Either above or below. Well, what's my objective? The monocle will show the path. Hmm. Maybe the map will help me. I kind of doubt it, but oh, look at that. Gone back to the original state. What do I have on my person? I have this statue head and a monocle. Uh, neither of those things really seem like they're going to help me. I wonder, maybe there's stairs that go up into it from below? Mm, probably not. I... <clears throat> it may be there. There was a door over here that was locked before that has magically opened itself. It seems to be how this game operates. This one? No.
out. An old save hallway. Where do I put this statue head? I don't think I've seen any uh, headless statues on which to affix it. Ah, itchy, itchy. Ah. Just let me in. Can I move this? No? Oh! Uh, there's a trunk somewhere that I have to move, isn't there? Not 100% sure what room it was in, though. I do remember seeing all those, like, ballerina trophies. So it seems like maybe it was over here. I just came from... Totally forgot what happened in that little flashback sequence. Not this trunk. It would have been... Here's... Yeah, here's the trophies. And through here... Be behind this. Yes, got it. Only took me like five minutes. Not completely dumb. Whoa. What, what's happening? Where am I? The, where did it take me? Yeah, that was strange. No, oh, I would like my lantern, please. Very much so. Ooh. Okay, so is there another bust in the room that I have to place the head on? There it is. Ooh, secret door. What about normal door? Oh! I made a shortcut. Wicked. I think I know where this is. This is, uh... Yeah. So my um, aconite should be here. And I, I, why can't I unlock it from this side? Hmm. Tell me. They'll do anything to stop me. They try to prevent me from finishing the ritual. I cannot let them catch me. Okay. I haven't seen a closet in a while. Which concerns me a little bit. <clears throat> okay, 
So my next objective is way out in this direction. Fastest combination lock, I'm sure. Yeah. Oh, this is the bookcase maze. Um, is there any indication anywhere? of what that combination might be. You'd think it would be in the nearby entity. Horse? Is the code horse? Yeah, this blob doesn't even need textures. It's fine. It's fine. This looks like a readable note, but it's apparently not. Looks like it should be a readable book, but it's not. Ah, man, got such an itch. Stupid nose. Mm, yeah, I feel like I've checked this room pretty thoroughly now. There's a code, it's not in here. Um, there's a whiteboard down there, or a blackboard. All right, that's not a whiteboard at all. I think one of my mustache hairs is like pointing upward and tickling the inside of my nose. It's really becoming a problem. Oh yeah, that's the photo. died on August 21st, so let's try 0821, maybe 2108. It seemed like it was four digits. Right? Yeah. And I cannot see it at all. There's no zero. That's not good. It's 
stupid thing. Why is it so dark? Uh, yeah, well, help. Game, low help. Oh, it's right there. Wow. 6896, eh? Uh, can't see. Did that not work? Did it get it wrong? Ah. Six, eight, nine, six. Right? Are you misleading me? Do I need to press something else? I just Oops. Maybe it's backwards for some reason. Monocle is no help. Are there any other codes rolled on the wall? Doesn't look that way. doll here. It gets here to help me at all. It's just there to be there. What? Uh, what am I missing? It's definitely 6896. You can't mistake those numbers there. I kind of thought maybe they would glow, reveal the real numbers under the monocle, but no. 
I've checked twice now, and it didn't work either time. Although the first six and the last six look a little bit different. But that... Like, it looks more like the nine, but it's upside down, right? Maybe it's 986 or 9896? Rest all right. The I I. Yeah. Hmm. I don't understand. Not, uh, not even a little bit. Like, what part of this puzzle have I missed? I feel like I must have missed something. There's just a number scrawled on the wall and it doesn't work. Which tells me there's either another combination lock somewhere, or need to use that number differently somehow. But I don't remember seeing another combination lock anywhere. There were like two key locks and I've opened them both. That can't be opened. Okay, this map hasn't changed at all. There are no other hints anywhere. The one directly above me. Nothing here. Hmm. My feeble brain is being pushed to its limit here. So what about nine six eight nine maybe? I wish you could turn it the other way. Yeah, it was just upside down. Wicked. What a puzzle!
We're going to give you the code, but it's upside down and backwards. Uh -huh. No sort of indication that that's what we're doing. Other than the weirdly backwards first nine. Or upside down. After my last Aconite, where can it be? Let's ask the monocle. Way out there. So... First floor? If that's even it. it. Looks like it could be. There's nothing else. Oh, unless no, that's just the light. Uh where'd you go, a little glimmer? Can't get through here. Kind of knew that. Figured I'd try anyway. This is just the door that doesn't do anything. And this is a room that doesn't do anything. Except buzz. I guess this, this light? Weird. You can see it more clearly from upstairs. Um... Uh, thank you, save hallway. Really close now. Really, really close. Be like behind this wall. Run, you fool. Run! Uh... How do I get past all the ferny? Flip on through? No? It kind of looks like... Oh, there's... Boarded up. That's no good. You don't suppose. Wait, what is... Oh. An old-timey camera box. Hmm.
Feels like they're one of these panels would be fake or there would be a push. Be put out the fire. Maybe I can circle around from the other side. Ooh, can't go this way. I'm getting real far off course now, but... Broken stairwell, that's no good. Uh, I can't even see the sparkly shining anymore. Hello? Hello? Oh. Oh, Way, way out there. I don't even know where I am anymore. In a dead end, apparently. And I don't know how to get back out. This way? Okay, so I figured out where I am, at least. Okay, so the thingy I need to find is down this way. ground that I can jump through somewhere. I think I can shove out of the way.
like right below the kids' room. Right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, if I could hop down here. Like right there. But I can't hop. Maybe if this door wasn't so sealed. No hopping down at all. All right. Dude, you can get you where you need to be. Look, right there. Literally in the room. That's full of rubble. Maybe I can... Can I see which way I need to approach from? Not really, because my light's not very good. Uh, so if I go in here, there are no... paths downward, right? Out here, here's stairs. But I, I've already tried first floor. Main hall. It doesn't really offer anything helpful. I think once again it's like you know, right that way. Like, you know, poke out the fire. There's probably a hidden passage there. I'm really stumped. Well, here's my X marks the spot again. Oh, that a long time ago. I want to, like, I can't get really to that side of the room, which I figure that's where the entrance must be. Unless there's some kind of secret in this room that opens the fireplace. But I don't think that's really what's going to happen. Ah, uh, it's right there. There aren't really any more angles from which to approach. Is blocked off. And I can't really get. I 
any closer. I need to like go through this door and then take a right, but I can't. Go through this, no, this door in this corner, but that's way, way, way the opposite direction. And uh, maybe it is a situation where you need to go farther to get closer, but... I don't know, I'm having a hard time with this one. Heal the boards off, maybe? Like, it can't be that hard. Like, it's almost as if I need to come in that door, or maybe in the corner there. I don't know how to get there. I need, like, a staircase right here. Like, literally right here. And then something to open up this way. But it doesn't. Good. That's just the other side of one I've already tried. Wait. Oh, that's just the note. Yeah, I thought I could do the bathtub thing again. kind of lost my sense of direction now, but... And I can't see the shiny thing at all, that's great. shiny thing. Are you way out there? That's not good. Why are you way out there? Be closer to me. Okay, so this is really stupid. So I figured it out, and it makes no sense. You walk over here, you use monocle to take a look. Oh, there's my objective. You pan over just a little bit. You can see that there is a ladder here, which is highlighted in black for no reason, which is stupid. But uh, yeah, that's, that's the solution. Gotta say, I don't care for it. Okay. Closet right here. And this is the final Aconite, so certainly I'm going to be attacked as soon as I pick it up. Yep. Yep. 
Oh no! Wow. That was kind of an underwhelming jump scare. Uh, they usually are in these games, though. Where am I, even? I should be right in the save hallway, which I went down like a million times, searching for this stupid ladder. Uh, or... Well, where is this? Oh, I have two Aconites. I don't think I ever took the third one back, though, so... What is this? What, what is this room? Where am I? So disoriented. I'm on the top floor? Alright. It's a weird place to be, but... I guess that's just where you respawn. Even though I saved right here. Do I really have to... This is so dumb. Where is she? Run, man, run! Hurry, to the closet! Oh. I can't change the controller mapping, really? I have a perfectly good ZL, ZR button. ZR. Not being used, and I want to remap run to it. It's nice that... Um, the run, while on left, uh, L3, left stick, uh, is where I don't like run to be. It's, it's a toggle rather than a hold. But if you move the control stick, like, even one degree, uh, different from where you face when you click in the stick, he stops running, so. And a dumb. All right. Safe? Seems like it. Last Aconite found. It's time to go to the attic and finish the doll. I didn't find all the... thingamajigs, though. Amulets. Got a nice shortcut out into the main hall. That is perfect. Thank you, mother. Oh! Nothing actually came in, which is a little sad. 
Could have been an angry bird or something. Not like one of those characters, but like a bird that is angry. Um, I take a wrong left turn at Albuquerque. Oh no, I gotta go under this. Under this Debris. Pull this out a little bit so I can hear myself talk. The game isn't too loud, but... It's so weird to hear the, my muffled voice. It kind of freaks me out for some reason. I'm not sure why. Alright, so we put the Aconites in the candles. According to the ritual, there must be amulets. Well, there are some amulets. One, two. Missing one. According to the ritual, there must be amulets. Great, so I missed an amulet somewhere. Mm. All right, well, I guess get ready for another cut while I explore the house from top to bottom, because I missed one thing somewhere. Oh! Oh no! God, what have I done? Bloodstained ball. Last amulet. Cool. There's a note. September 2, 1900. The atmosphere in the house has changed a lot. Jimmy is too young to fully understand what happened. He constantly asks where Daddy is and is always crying. And Ellie has completely stopped talking to anyone. Peter, the nanny's son, tries to play with them, but they don't make contact. And yesterday, Nurse Tamsin said that. At what? If I had found this part of the diary earlier, I wouldn't have been deceived by that damn doll. Do you, really? Do you think? I I don't understand how that would have saved you from the doll. I really didn't say anything. Or did it, and my reading comprehension is not working right now. That's entirely possible. Entirely possible. I didn't see you there, sir. Well, okay. Oh. That's, uh... What? Or maybe it's like a Wendigo or something? I don't know. Don't crash. Don't crash. Didn't crash. Nice.
Mm. Oh, look, it's chained up. I haven't seen one of those in a while. So how did I end up down here? Is this all like a Jacob's Ladder style situation? Or is this a PT style situation? Oh no, no, we're out of the possibly looping hallway. It wasn't looping after all. I don't think. A nice family photo. I'm actually looking for a key, though. Oh, and I no longer have the monocle. So, no more hints, I guess. Can't see anything. Oh, and I have no menu? Where I came from? Um... Okay. No, that's not the right way. Okay. I don't think there were any other doors in this hallway. I guess I'll go back through where I came. This has teleported me somewhere completely different. Peter. Mama. Emma? Oh, Peter. I'm so sorry. Now you have to rectify everything. Because I couldn't. We're outside. We can get out of here. What about Ellie and Tim? They are still under the spell. Yeah, you don't. I promised Ellie, though. But what if I die? What if I'm here only to die? There is no death. I love you, Peter. I love you, too. Don't tell your kids there's no death. That's a bald-faced lie. Um, so I have no more menu or files or anything, so this must be the ending sequence. It's just a matter of going into the right door to activate the right cutscene. I can't actually move. Oh. Do you want me to run? Yeah, I guess so. Fair enough. Fair enough. 
I wasn't sure if it was just like a cutscene. Like, uh, she was supposed to get me there, or what? Hey, let me go! Let me go! Let me go! I need to run! This is not the way to run. Crap! Alright, Mama! I'm gonna escape you this time. Ha <laughs> uh oh. She definitely watched that happen. <laughs> Mummy has been appeased. Come here, little ball. You were one of my amulets. What are you doing there? Oh, Timmy? Thanks, Timmy. Oh, up slappy. Oh. Say what? Loading screen, loading screen. This one takes forever. Uh, am I doing it? I guess not. So this is, uh, this smacks of final boss. I'm not sure what I needed to do other than kite him around and then grab the thing. Maybe. I don't know. Are there multiple relics to find or just the one? Run away? Or what? I don't understand. Oh, I'm gonna get got. It's getting close. Do the thing! Do the thing! No, I'm done.
I don't get it. What am I supposed to be doing? Oh crap! Run! Okay, yeah, that's two. Damn it, damn it, damn it. How do I stop the steam? You've got to be kidding me. He's right up my butt. Not see anything. I don't know if I got that. I don't like this sequence. I really don't. See if one of the steam thingies is stopped. Uh, nope, I made no change. Cool.
Yeah, I really don't care for this. Did I get it? <laughs> like, did I just turn it back on? Because I, I think the valve went the other way. Uh, I can heal, uh, still hear the steam. Oh, I got one. Where's the other, though? There's nothing here. Kinda looks like there's only the one valve that I can turn. Nope, can't interact with that anymore. Where's the next one? Where's the next one? Oh, there it is. Oh crap, he's right behind me! This thing is in the absolute worst place. It's in a, like a little pocket. I'm gonna get trapped for sure. Sucks. That should do it. wasn't it, was it? Oh, did I get him? Oh, look at that. Okay, I only had to find three things. That wasn't so bad. Uh-oh. What? Please, 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 please. You what?
Yeah, all right. Well, that happened. Ah! Small team. All right. Enough for four people. That's uh, that's a pretty meaty game. Um, I guess I don't know what each of those people worked on, but you know, you say one was programming, one was art, one was music, one was marketing, maybe? I don't know. Um, <clears throat> that was not bad. That was not bad. I'm glad I waited till it was on sale, because it's definitely more of like a $12 game than a 30 something dollar game. To me, personally. Um, <clears throat> it's like a haunted house. Walk around, find the things. Solve some rudimentary puzzles. Um, solve some puzzles that are not, in fact, puzzles, like using the um, monocle to find the staircase that wasn't highlighted at all. It was actually almost more obscured <laughs> than if it was just invisible. Uh, I didn't really care for that boss battle at the end either, but... You gotta end it with something, I suppose. And it's better than it just... Going like, oh! You solved it! Here's the ending cutscene. I suppose. It was alright. It was alright. Um... Wasn't... I wasn't crazy about it, really. Uh, it was a... It was a little more than what, what I signed up for than I thought. Um, I, like, I'm glad the mother creature was not hunting me the whole time. And it was just scripted sequences. That's... <laughs> and it crashed again! Go Silver Chains! You're doing a bang-up job, game. Doing a bang-up job. I don't think there's really any more for me to say about it anyways, so... What else... what else can I add other than the software was closed because an error occurred? So that's it. That was Silver Chains. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And stay tuned for whatever comes next. Bye bye